Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I want to record a video today uh, just showing anyone interested how I currently organize my stock video library. And I think that for anyone who's regularly producing video um, for YouTube or for anything else, it's really worth uh, keeping your own stock library. So I keep mine on my NAS and I use the Synology DS920 Plus as my NAS. And then I periodically um, put stuff onto cold storage. So just like a hard drive. Now this is something that kind of defeats the benefit of an NES a little bit. Um, but I, I do kind of both. I keep my what I call important stuff on the NES and then the less important stuff like stock uh, on a hard drive that I can plug into the NES at any time. If you have tons of space on your NES and you don't want to do it like that, you may as well keep it on the NES. The benefit of using an NES over uh, just storing your video clips on your computer, on a drive, whatever, is that an NES has um, RAID. It has a redundant array of independent disks and RAID will give you a good deal of protection against disk failure. Um, so there's, there's two things I guess I'd like to point out in this video or two suggestions that I think are, are um, I wanna get across. One is um, I think it's really worth having an NES for this purpose, for keeping your, uh, your stock library. Second recommendation, I think it's really worth keeping your own stock library of B-roll. And I'll take you into mine in a second or, or now. Um, this is how I divide it for me. I put my finished videos, I currently don't back up raw clips, but every time I do a video shoot, I am seeing what's stock-like or could be used as stock. And then based on that, I make an executive decision as to what I want to do with it. Sometimes it always goes on my NAS. And sometimes I put some free stock videos up on Pexels. So what I do is I firstly put them in this folder called Pexels and free. Um, and then I put them up onto uh, Pexels. I also sell some stock footage on Pond5. And the reason it's important to keep organized about all this stuff, I've somehow gone into my phone there, um, is that I have an exclusivity agreement with Pond5, which gives me higher royalty. So you want you want to take note of what you do. So basically, everything here might be in Pexel, it might be in Pond5, and if it's in Pexels, I put it here so that I know not to put it, uh, not to duplicate and put it on Pond5 because if I did Pexels, um, and upon five, technically I'd be violating my agreement with upon five. So I'm pretty careful about that kind of thing. Um, the second thing that would be sensible, it would be to uh, duplicate your stock library up to the cloud. So I have really bad home internet, as I've mentioned a bunch of times on this YouTube channel. So what I actually do is manually push it to the cloud. If you have an NES, um, there is this thing called Cloud Sync. It's an amazing technology built into it. And that will just automatically sync up a folder with a cloud storage library. So if I didn't have crappy internet, I'd absolutely be doing that. Because I do, in order to preserve bandwidth, I'll manually do this approach um, at a certain time of the, if I'm going on business for a day, I'll you know back up like a terabyte of stuff to the cloud uh, at one go and I'm not gonna be using the network, otherwise it makes my network really slow. So that's how I do it, but if you are lucky enough to have decent bandwidth, uh, it would probably be much more logical to just have this running as intended, cloud sync, and then every time you put something in, it'll uh, put that up to the cloud. So that's those are my tech, those are the fine technical details. And then you have to think about organization. So I'm in the process of organizing this. I'm gonna spend it probably an hour today just getting this organized. And you have to think what's the, what's the most useful method that if you're looking for a clip in your own library, how are you gonna be able to retrieve stuff? So. The way I'm doing it currently, if you see these has promenade files here, they were created on the 9th of January, so that's 0122. So what I'll be doing, this is a site in Jerusalem. So I create a folder, call it has promenade 0122. Um, and then I just kind of group up all the stock. So has promenade, looks like I have two clips. I'm gonna put that in to this new folder I've created. And um, then because has promenades in Jerusalem, I'm gonna put this into the Jerusalem folder. So this is kind of my system, it doesn't have to be yours of course, I'm just showing you sort of, it's a long process. So I'm in Jerusalem and I've got, I've created uh, a few folders and I have all these to organize as well. The Embassy of Kosovo can go in its own folder. Old, I'll probably do a folder for Old City and then put in the various gates in Jerusalem. Um, and then I've just random food clips, etc., etc. So 
yeah, this is my own stock library. And what I would use this for is if I'm record, if I'm doing a YouTube video and I say, oh, you know, it'd be great to have a stock here of, I don't know, a gate from the old city. Haven't I shot the old city before? Yes. And then I'll go into my NES and I'll pull out my clip and put that into my, uh, uh, directly into my editing timeline. Um, and that's basically it. So I think it's definitely, if you're doing a lot of video production, um, it's a really worthwhile endeavor to have your own stock library. I've asked around on Reddit if there's like a specific program that's good for managing stock. I don't think anyone really had one. So I think this is probably um, about as good as a methodology you're gonna find. Just in other words, organizing it as a file system, but do put it on an NAS if you have one. And I'd also really recommend uh, duplicating it up to the cloud just so that if, uh, you know, God forbid your NES, well, your NES probably wouldn't fail. It's more likely that your house would be flooded or catch fire, in which case your all this would be, all this data would be lost. And that's why it's really important to have an offsite backup as well, uh, so that you are, you're, you're basically stacking the odds in your favor. So that would be a really smart thing to do as well. Um, but yeah, that's my recommendation. That's how I currently organize my own little uh, stock video library. And I do actually use this quite regularly. I'll be quite frequently editing a video. I did one the last day on what I like about living in Israel. And at certain points I was like, oh, I mentioned that it was, you know, hiking is a positive thing here. So I said, oh, great. I have a, I have a shot of some forest that I shot. So let's take a look at this clip and I can add it. So that's where it really comes in handy and uh, it's worth having. And I think that's about all there is to say about it. I uh, hope this video was useful. If you'd like to get more videos from me, please uh, feel free to subscribe to this YouTube channel.